The shaped charge protection screen. In simple terms, it is a metal cage encircling the armored vehicle, which traps the charge, for an example, a rocket from an RPG. An incoming RPG charge explodes and burns out between the cage and the main armor. The crew therefore survives. After we lost some of our fellow countrymen who burned alive because of the shape charged hit an armored vehicle, we decided to create a shape charge protection. We did all the designing, manufacturing and testing. The live firing test revealed that the armor on the vehicle stays intact. The main thing is that these folks can install the protection in the field. There are not many people who would agree to go to a military base where military action could start at any time. Every protective cage is being welded independently after which they are all put together and bolted as a single structure, and afterwards it is being strongly welded to the armored vehicle. Our target is to fix the protection to as many armored vehicles as possible, since the Ukrainian army has a, only a limited quantity of such vehicles and these get destroyed in combat along with the people inside them. In a very short period of time, we installed the protection on seven armored vehicles. At the same time, we install protective screens, we repair the vehicles damaged in action. Yes, we have managed to collect significant amounts of money through donations. Only the materials used in manufacturing the protection for one vehicle is 24,000 hryvnia. Leonid thanks God and will take money to only to reimburse the materials. The true cost, including the craftsman's hours and transportation, we can't afford. Therefore, any assistance is appreciated. I receive many text messages from the army units for which we've installed the protection screens. As a rule, I receive them at night. In the morning, my phone is bursting with the phone calls. Thank you so much, Uncle Leonid. We got entrapped and shelled, but all are alive. Such gratitude is the most valuable thing that I've ever encountered in my life.